You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kuhn. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. That's a good point. Well, your children. That's a good point. I mean, as much as... I mean, Clive really is not swallowing any of this. But, like Angelus, I think Clive is intrigued by the Kuhn and the mentality of the... of the... um... Of the, of the Kunari, and for what it's worth, he he's, I think he's respecting the Arashak for what he is, even though behind his back he's probably like thinking this guy is totally cuckoo for cocoa puffs. How many Kunari have you lost to the Talvashov? None. Optimistic, considering my death toll. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. I met an honorable one. Doubtful. Whatevs. He said he was a mercenary, not a murderer. Then I know he made no claim to honor. When they sell themselves, little remains. He is not even dead to the Kuhn. He is a living insult. Yeah, Clive's, what's going through Clive's head right now is that the Kunari are really narrow-minded, and he's not really cool with that. I mean, yeah. I think that it's safe to say that he probably doesn't like... I don't think Clive likes uh, the Era Shock all that much at all, but he still respects his position, even though, yeah, he thinks the Era Shock is... Just he, not someone he would want to have a cup of tea with, exactly. Farewell. Panahedon, human. Gazuntite. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Isabella, you need to come back, okay? And I need to read up on the Canari. And by read up, I mean click on it and move on. Because <laughs> I think I know a lot about the Canari already. I, I want to change up my party a little bit. Let's. Let's bring back Aveline and Derek. Go without me. I need a stiff one. And a drink. Wait, Aveline, no, we're not going back to the Canari. Get back get your get your Heine over here. If you see a blonde elf girl, run. Shipping manifest. I think I lost it. Well, then you can't bring your goods in. Viscount's rules, not mine. You should take credit for those rules. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. Sure he is. I'm Adam, the Harbour Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a Legion cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. Yeah, what a coincidence about that. I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Yeah, I kind of figured. Fine. Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse, by the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Okay. Have you seen an elf about? Short, blonde hair, slight build? Nope. Not at all. Okay. Don't we all... Kirk Wall ain't what it used to be. That's good for some, I guess. Don't we have... Repent, and the Maker will forgive. Harrowmont tasks, too. I think we still have to do some Harrowmont, like, street cleaning. So... The warehouse. There's someone coming. Tell the others. Ooh. Raiders, eh? This is private property. Uh. There's a fire on the other side of this row. Get help before it spreads. What? Don't you hear the screaming? Are you deaf? I don't hear anything. Shit! A fire could destroy the loot. We have to check. But. Come on! Not bad, Hawk. Not bad at all. I can't believe that actually worked. Alright, I'm not complaining. Good job, Clive. 
Well done, you and your sarcastic nature. I don't know if we could have done that with a non-sarcastic hawk. Empty stained bottle. That's a really cool thing about Dragon Age 2. One of the cool dialogue things is that uh, certain dialogue options open up to you depending on whether you're a sarcastic hawk, a, I guess, a pragmatic hawk, or a diplomatic hawk. Oh, look, another warehouse. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. A warehouse that looks almost identical to the other warehouses that we've been seeing this entire game. How about that, guys? Oh. Anyway. Yeah, let's... Let's keep Varric up front, because I feel like he might be slightly better at finding traps than Isabella at the time being. For the time being. Hmm. Easy as pie. Yep. Uh oh. Raiders. Throw up in a tropic cloud. Where is he? All right. Well, it doesn't matter. There he is. I was wondering where you when you'd show back up. Let's debuff him. Nice. Alright, Beric, work your magic. Uh, Raider Assassin. Oh, no you don't. Alright, where'd that Assassin go? Is he still around? Oh, I can't quite hit both of these guys. Ooh, I'll try to hit this. Come on, Varric. A little too slow, Varric. Um... Yeah. Take that one down. Take this one down. Varric! That's right. One kick in the tuchus. Is Varric, uh, is Varric ranged? Yes, he is. All right, just making sure. Reaver. Oh, these are Reavers. All right, not so bad. Varric, keep an eye out for more traps. Oh, we've got some more crates in here. Broken bows. Yeah, not nothing particularly interesting. What we got up here? Probably more junk. Ah, Raider Blade. It's probably okay. Barrel. Watch where you step. Oh, we're good to go. Good stuff. Thanks, Varric. Opal fragment. Wow, they made a trap just for a fragment of an opal? Really? Alright. Everyone stay still and try not to make any loud noises. Piece the cake. Perfect. Empty stained bottle and a sample of Martin's cargo. Ooh, the black hand. A blend of 27 toxic plant essences with a healthy dollop of cobra venom for that extra kick. That poison will kill a man in two breaths. Can I have it? Izzy. Bring news of the found cargo to Martin and the Hanged Man. Alright, we have to go to the Hanged Man. Might as well clean this, you know, clean this quest up. I think that's all that's in here. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta get Eric out of here. Hey! Two can play this game. Uh, take that, Raider Assassin. Nice. Good job, Varric. Beautifully executed. Messing with us is suicidal. Yeah, pretty much. You never learn. Okay. Uh, all 
let's see. Still have hair. old dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast pin. I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, <laughs> the broody elf tells a joke. Nice. I don't brood. Uh. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pit. I can see the appeal to Fenris. Um, I just... He broods way too much for my taste. Like... I, I, I mean, the whole... Him being voiced by the same guy who does Balthier was a huge plus for me when I first... For Elden's taking my work, not a chance. When I first learned about the character, but his person... Uh, Fenris's personality, the main reason why... Make her turn his gaze on you, child. The main reason why I'm not romancing him is because I... It, I just don't care about him as much as I do Anders because of the history. It's a lot of it is the history that I had with Anders in Dragon Age Origins. And granted, yes, that was like I met uh, Anders as Angelus and not as Clive. But, you know, um, I think that I can still argue reasons why Clive probably would like Anders more than Fenris, especially b with Fenris's stance on mages, so... There we go. Take that. No more of you guys. Yeah, well, you're probably gonna get wakened up again, but I'm gonna do this anyway. How many? How many more of you part of thugs are there? Making the world a better place, one enemy at a time. You said it, Hawk. All right. Any more? Let's send our actual tank to the front this time. Whoa! Look at them. Nice. And a whirlwind for good measure. Nice. Oh, more of you guys. Alright, alright. Good stuff there, Varric. More, huh? Fine. Oh, that assassin is still at large. Not too long. Debuffs for everyone. Good job, Isabella. Nice. I think that's all of them. Okay. Alright, so back to the other Lord Harrowmont. I forgot his first name. We can wrap this up and then we can go over. There's a scourge on the waves. Sometimes scarlet, sometimes satin. Know her at your peril. Yes, good times, wasn't it? Keep walking, Hawk. Shh. Very well, Izzy. Stay off the docks. My men work. All right. I know your face. The boys in Orlay named the Nietzsche. Right, right, right. You're thinking of someone else, oh maid of the brine. Lord Renville Harrowmont. Harrowmont. I wager you've a bright future ahead of you. Take this. More will come, as promised. May the stone look after you. Thanks, Harrowmont. The car to thugs were eliminated, and Lord Renville Harrowmont escaped the city. Well, that's good because I didn't want—I didn't want him to be the last line of I the Harrowmonts. Your face. The boys in all lane, well, he you. isn't the last line. We'll talk later. Don't you worry. I didn't want the last line of Harrowmont's family to die off. Not if I could help it, because I do like Harrowmont too. 
Oh, we've got a letter. Oh, so many things. All right, well, let's go to the. F let's just go to the hangman for now and just finish up what we were doing while we're at it, and then we can figure out what to do next. You ever noticed the way those? Ravine. Now, nowhere in my travel, nowhere in my travels, not in the heart of the Imperium, nor the streets of Orzammar, have I felt so much an outsider as in Ravine. The chant of light never truly reached the ears of these people. The years they spent under the thumb of the Kunari left most of the country's zealous followers of the Kuhn. But resistance to the chant goes deeper than the Kunari War. The Ravani, the Ravani, Ravani? The Ravani refuse to be parted from their seers, wise women who are in fact hedge mages, communicating with spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibition against such magical practices violates millennia of tr local tradition. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, the travels of Chantry scholar Brother Jitatibi. Nari, look at you. It's like they're judging you. Or trying to decide how to prepare you for dinner. Um... You heard about that deep roads expedition. They say anyone who goes down there is gonna be rich. Yeah, we're you we're working on it, don't Ravani, stop looking at my chest. My eyes are up here. But the chest hair. Huh? Do you know how much I suffer under your gaze? I am a person, not an object. Uh Varric? <laughs> Just shitting you. Yes. Yes. Varric's chest hair is still up for grabs. Mwahaha. <laughs> Clive will be happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, him and Varric have such a playful relationship. Alright. Um, I really hope Varric. Varric better be romanceable in Dragon Age Inquisition. That's all I have to say. Okay. Next. Uh, yeah, all these are empty. However, I might get I might get some reward from our friend here. Or she's not here. She might be here at night, not during the day. It's okay. All right, Martin, we helped you. Okay, here. Guess what I found? Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate every noble in Orlay and then some. I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look, there's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. Mm -hmm. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. Uh... So, where is it? Uh... Fine. I mean, Angelus, if it was Angelus, he wouldn't tell him. But Clive's, I mean, his his morals are slightly different from, from, from Angelus. I mean, his heart's in the right place, but I mean, I think he kind of buys what he says. Yes, it's, it, it kills people, but then again, I mean, we've all got weapons and other things that we've been using to kill people this entire time. You know, I guess it just depends on how it depends on how it's used and for what means, I guess. I think that's how Clive sees it. You know, it's not... blame. You, you shouldn't blame the poison. Blame the person who's wielding the poison and using it in ways that... That do not... That in his mind are not quote-unquote good in his mind. Um, so yeah, he'll, he'll just go ahead and tell him. Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. Alright, fair enough. I don't know if I'm gonna get any poison from you, but... Well, Isabella really liked that, so that's a plus. Oh, and we can actually get stuff from this room again. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Both Isabella and Varric were cool with that, so I suppose it's cool with Clive too. All right, um, let's go home. I feel like we haven't been back to the back at the house for a while, cause we've got mail. 
I wonder who another messenger came by with a letter. It's on the desk. Let's see what we got. Um Act of Mercy. Proud Sean of the Hawk family. I dare not contact you directly, but we have met before, and I know you to be a person of good character and unusual ability. Indulge me in a meeting outside the city, for I require your aid in a delicate task. As a token of good faith, I have enclosed a modest sum. There will be more waiting if you can help. Please come as soon as you receive this. If you do not, the lives of many innocents may be on my hands. Sincerely, a friend. Huh. Alright, well. That sounds... That sounds like a good idea to me, I guess. Okay. Act of mercy. Um. How's it going, bro? I'm with you, brother. For now. For now? Just for now? I guess I'll take what I can get. That creature's den was horrifying enough. But a whole camp of them? Oh, nice. The Viscount would do well to throw the lot of them back where they came from. Sten, yes, Sten from Dragon Age Origins. That was another Dragon Age Origins reference. Is this dwarven venture truly the only way? I hate to think of you going willingly into the dark spawn's grasp. I know, Mom, but we've thrown our thrown ourselves in, in many, plenty of other dangers before. Is this dwarven okay. venture truly the only way? Hey, Steve. Are you searching for buried treasure, or just trying to tunnel out of this hovel? Probably both. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, Steve. You're so cute. Uncle. Your mother's busy writing to the Viscount. If you want more touching family stories, go to her. Okay, okay. okay. Alright, um... Let's keep Isabella in our team, but let's also bring... Eh, let's bring Anders and Carver, I think, is what I want to do. Yeah, Carver, Anders, and Isabella. Let's do that. I'm going to the Chantry because I want to see if Sebastian... Oh, Sebastian. <laughs> Hi, Sebastian. Hi. Anders is probably getting a little jealous, but hi, I've got, I, I've done your duty, Sebastian. Is, is there anything else I can do for you? You know, like I don't know, do your laundry, give you a back massage, any of the above. You know, I, I can, I can, I can do the lawn, your laundry. Just, just, you know, just give me your clothes right now, and I'll run over and get it done. So. Will anyone smite me if I tell you I killed the men who wronged your family? Excuse me, who are... My post to the Chancellor's board? Did Her Grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. Uh, yeah, well, you're welcome. So, yeah, tell me about yourself. You know, what do you like to do? You know, sunsets and long walks on the beach or anything like that? Hmm? Hmm? Who are you exactly? I am Sebastian Vale, Prince of Starkhaven. Her Grace might prefer I introduce myself as a brother in the Chantry. But I could not stay after what happened to my family. Yeah, I, I get that. Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. We have enemies, but none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is... a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it? My parents were always... prudent in how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is behind this foul deed. Hmm. 
Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive, my family will have no justice. Alright, well, I'm glad I could help. Your parents probably don't care much at this point, but I hope you sleep a bit easier. Yes, I hope I will. Thank you. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to uh, a fellow city. Uh, okay, okay. Well, well, don't, you know, don't, don't be a stranger now, all right? <laughs> Sometimes I think you have the right idea. Handcuffs, whipped cream, always be on top. I never used to give two bits what anyone thought of me. Justice once asked me why I didn't do more for other mages. I told him it was too much work, but I couldn't go back after that. Couldn't stop thinking about it. Sometimes I miss being that selfish. Huh? Were you talking? I was still at whipped cream. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, love yourselves and love each other.